And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Get Energy. I'm in the studio taking a look at my top 10 prospects for the upcoming 24 season. 10 through 6 already published. Go check out the playlist. Like all of those videos. Leave your feedback. But tonight, we're going to get into the top five. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This list is getting down to the nitty gritty. Number five from Krasnoyarsk, Russia. 19 years old. Big sister to Mira. This is Erica and Dreva. Did I say that right, guys? Krasnoyarsk, Russia? I think I said that right. Now, listen, she is a former top junior, not top 10, but she made it to number 11th in the junior rankings. And listen, she's got three ITF championships. She's got a challenger title, guys. That lets you know she's almost ready for the big stage. She has a 68% win percentage and listen guys she even made the junior rolling girls championship last year in 22 where she would lose to the winner linda noskova Ooh, is she gonna be on this list stay tuned ladies and gentlemen we're taking a look at erica now listen her favorite shot is her right-handed two-hand backhand that's right ladies and gentlemen she's got power she's an aggressive baseliner i love watching her play and i've said this since watching her arrive on the big stage that she's gonna have a good future a solid future on the main tour she's got a lot of power she's tall she's athletic let's get into it before we get into the junior results let's take a look at where it started ladies and gentlemen on the main tour St. Petersburg, Russia, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Eric and Dreva on the big stage attempting to come through qualifiers. She took out in the first round of qualifiers former top 10 player Kristina Mladanovic. Unbelievable. That was a huge win there. And it didn't stop there, ladies and gentlemen. She stormed into the second round of qualifiers of St. Petersburg in front of the hometown fans in another three set thriller. She took out Harunka Kova. That's right, three sets. Now, Harunka Kova, top 40 player, right? Possibly any day of the week. She's got the skills. And Jula Niemeyer in the third round of qualifiers, she would fall in another three set match, but she wouldn't win this one. Guys, that's where a star was born in Russia, the big stage. Now, if you're not familiar with that draw, ladies and gentlemen, this is when Annette Kontave was still balling, ladies and gentlemen. Sakri and Kontave, I covered this tournament. Sakri, go watch that video. I think it's there. Uh, that was an amazing match. Sakri won the first set. Now, this was when Sakri was still on that huge losing streak. Right where she would make it to the semifinals, quarterfinals, championship match and couldn't win it. She won the first set against Kontave. Kontave won the second set in a tie break, right? And then the third set, 7-5. And look, I got some amazing pictures on that tournament. Kontave, that was one of the most popular videos of that year on the channel. Kontave just, she did the splits going for a ball and she had this look on her face. Go watch it, it's on the channel. But nonetheless, Kontave would end up winning that. And that was the big introduction for the main tour. And, you know, she didn't make it into the draw, but we saw someone just dueling it out with veterans, a young teenager in Erica. Now, from there, guys, Madrid. And how about Beatrice Haddad, ladies and gentlemen? She won six games off of Beatrice Haddad in a year where Beatrice literally played like 100 matches, just about 70, something like that. Insane. She won six service games off of Beatrice in Madrid. And listen guys, she would then go and make the championship in Spain, but we're talking about main tour, right? So this list here is about prospects that I think can have a breakout year in 24, go deep in a main tour draw and win a championship. Let's go to France, right? WTA, main tour, first round, Ocean Dodden takes her out. Jessica Ponche, who, look, I always say she has a career in arm wrestling when she's done playing tennis. The way she slings around that forehand, the, look, her arms, her wrist size have to be the size of Pi Pi the Sailor Man. <laughs> Let's just be honest there. But nonetheless, that match went three sets. And look, she started to get the feel of things, right? She's still going through an adjustment period for the main tour, but headed into Switzerland right after France, 
look, Kempen in the qualifiers, Makarova in the qualifiers, and a Blinkova in the first round, 6-1-6-2, destroyed her. The much older person. I mean, Blinkova's got to be like at least six years older than Erica. And then Petra Martic, she won six service games off of. Now, this is where things got interesting. I was here watching this match, rainy night in New York City. Now, Camilla Rakimova defeated Erica Andreva in the Bronx ITF. But the U.S. Open qualifiers, she took out Rebecca Masarova and Camilla Rakimova, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, she took out Camilla Rakimova in three sets, and she made the main draw. And it was really tough to see Camilla Rakimova break down in tears after losing that match to Erica, after destroying her literally not even a week prior to that. A lot of people didn't think Erica could win that match. That was huge, and it's tough getting into a main draw coming th from qualifiers you know i mean you're playing a lot of hungry opponents that want that big game check i mean those checks are huge they're they're nearly one hundred thousand dollars for that first round you know and then you get the free points you get the recognition your name on the big stage and in case you're unfamiliar how it works when you're attempting to qualify for the main draw uh, if you make it to the third round you do have a shot at getting the lucky loser spot but it's based on rankings so in terms of seeded players you know of course the players with the better seeding they will get that lucky loser spot so it kind of goes in order uh, but look she made it into the main draw Petra Kvitova first round matchup took her to a tie break a lot of people thought she did very well and of course she did you know Petra's Petra's a two-time Grand Slam champion she's got you know literally 30 singles championship so that was an amazing learning experience for erica you know to get on the big stage and gain notoriety and a lot of people really started to put a radar on her after that impressive performance against petra from there she went to bucharest in romania and listen guys what, what about the the match with um elizabeth she beat elizabeth in straight set six four six one that was pretty bad uh zanevska would take her out but she did win seven games off of zanevska from the ukraine uh, by way of romania now but um from there she went to budapest and we saw her she made it in the main draw she was a lucky loser there but uh, we saw her take out salomar in the first round and then in the second round she won eight service games off of the hard server ocean Dodden. from there she went to ruan and then she got another lucky loser spot where she won eight service games off of ogla denlovic and then she took victoria golobic the one-handed backhand slice she took her to a tie break and then she would end up winning 11 service games off of victoria golobic and listen guys she went to from there you know she resorted back to the lower level but she didn't make a semi-final against jasmine Pellini in spain and erica even did well in the france championships but this year ladies and gentlemen she went to the third round of the australian open qualifiers with a showdown with sarah Bazelek. now that was supposed to be a showdown with alicia parks which would have been fireworks but of course, we remember Sarah Bazelik took out Alicia Parks and what was an amazing match, right? Went, went three sets, right? Um, but what about Lions? Victoria Tomova in the first round, three set victory. Diane Perry with the one handed slice. Now, Victoria Tomova's got an amazing backhand, beat her, right? Diane Perry, the one handed slice, very defensive, very athletic, beat her. Anna Blinkova from the Federation, good mid range attack beat her and Jasmine Polina would take her out again in the round of 16 in Austin she also made the round of 16 where she went three sets with Freed Sam she would lose but she beat Harriet Dart before that in a three set thriller uh, she did make the second round of Miami a Masters event she took out Kruger in the first round and still went three sets with Magdalena Freck uh, now let's take a look at the big dance right her second appearance in a Grand Slam the French Open this year she came through qualifiers okay now she did lose in the third round of qualifiers to Ogla Danlovic but she got the lucky loser spot and she didn't make the first round where she would lose to Emma Navarro in three sets ladies and gentlemen Wimbledon she didn't qualify uh she made it to the second round where Diana Yastrzemska would take her out she didn't qualify for the U.S. Open as well but she did make it to the third round after serving a bagel out to Sari Rani in the first the first round of qualifiers. Katie Valinets did take her out in three sets. 
But looking at her experience so far in literally just one year and a half on the main tour, it's pretty impressive. Now, one could argue that Erica could possibly be higher on this list. Maybe. But as we go back and revisit the 21 French Open Girls Championship against Linda Noskova, Linda is still a teenager and she won that girls title. The first set did go to a tiebreak but Erica would eventually lose. Now, Erica, like I said before, she is a former junior top ranked 11. Her highest on tour, main tour that is, is ranked 112. Now, this upcoming season, I think without a doubt, she will break the top 100. I think Erica will be in a good position to not have to worry about qualifying for the French Open, Wimbledon, or the US Open. I do think she will get enough points to secure a seed and the reality here is of all the players on this list so far erica has the most wins over main tour opponents and she has the most main tour appearances so i think erica's future is very bright uh, i think she's a very aggressive powerful baseliner even for her age she has shown that she can handle the handle curve i think she makes a lot of faults and double faults at the wrong time i would love to see her not be so hard on herself uh, she's doing well for her age and she has a good game sometimes i feel she's a little hard on herself she you know has these outbursts and i think it gives her opponents momentum that normally they probably wouldn't get if they didn't see her frustrated when a lot of times it's not really what her opponent's doing it's what she's doing so i would love to see her keep her mental composure i would love to see her work on her vertical game i've said in the past that she's a baseliner when she comes vertical she is taller uh, but she's athletic but i do want to see her work on her vertical game while she's still young work on those volleys work on the net play uh, but I would also love to see her improve the serve. The faults and the double faults, they come at the worst possible time. She's a decent returner because she can get broken with those faults and mistakes, but she has the mental toughness to hang in there and break back. At only 19 years old, let's not forget, this is her second 40 win season. That's right, 46 wins last year, 43 wins this year. 68% win percentage and guys she even made the Andorra championship where she literally lost it in a tie break so Erica Andreva is well on her way to stardom if you do not know who she is you definitely know who she is after this video and stay tuned you might have heard of her little sister as well tennis in a minute I'm your host get energy thank you all for listening to this video so far Erica Andreva, number five on this list, three ITF championships, but I feel the main one, the WTA main tour titles coming. She does have a challenger title as well. Don't forget that. She's big time. Watch out. Thanks again for the love and support and check out the top prospects playlist. Make sure you like all those videos, including this one, and we'll be right back. See you soon.